let us talk about dashboard so like what is dashboard is one of the buzzwords when you come to power bi uh, like learning power bi like many folks feel like report and dashboard are one and the same but there is a lot of difference between these two uh, in power bi desktop we can create a report but we cannot create a dashboard there but in power when it comes to power bi service in power bi service we can create a dashboard and you can create a report also there is a lot of difference between these two so let us see what are the those differences with terms of some of the description but i'll show you how to create a dashboard and then we can come back to this notepad and see in detail so if you remember we have three different reports so this is the report what we have brought from the power bi desktop this is one more report that we have brought from the power bi desktop and this is what we have created like power bi has created using an auto create report from this data set okay i think from from this data set i guess okay so let me open any of the report so let me open our old uh, like service report now you can see this so once i move my or hover my cursor you can see on the visual you get few icons here one of the icon is pin this visual you can go to the next visual you here also you can see pin this visual if i move on this cursor let me edit this let me resize this so we'll get a clear understanding now you can see this pin a visual and here also you can see a pin a visual here also you can pin a visual suppose if i click on this pin a visual so it will ask you that are you do you want to pin this to a dashboard so what is your dashboard name so i'll give this dashboard name as my dashboard dashboard and i'll just pin this so like in a simple layman language you are taking this visual from the report and you are pinning this you can see this symbol pin symbol you are keeping that to a new dashboard so what is dashboard dashboard is made up of a single single page so it is only one page single page and you can you can put as many as visuals you want and when creating a dashboard you can create dashboard from multiple multiple data sets data sets or reports so this might sound you confusion so you can create a dashboard from multiple data sets or reports so what does what do i mean i'll tell you so we have pinned this dash this visual let me go to the sales page let me take uh, this visual and pin it to the same dashboard so uh, you can create a new dashboard or you can pick the existing dashboard i have only one dashboard and let me pin this also okay i have pinned two visuals in the dashboard and the name of the dashboard is my dashboard so let me go to first let me save this report here and now you can see the symbol here you got a dashboard here so till now we had only report and data set now you can have a dashboard also so when you open a dashboard you can see two visuals which are coming from the service report okay so let me go to report demo here let me click on this and you have various pages from this suppose i want to take a forecast i want to take this to my dashboard so let me pin this to a dashboard existing dashboard and my dashboard let me pin this okay and if i come to pie chart here or if i come to yeah i'll take a table i'll select this and i'll click on pin this visual to my existing dashboard now let me go back to my workspace let me go to the first workspace and let me open my dashboard i have pinned four visuals do you remember i have pinned four visuals i can see four visuals in this dashboard so let me go back and show you inside a report demo here i have a slicers also i have a slicers and i have applied some filters also okay so if i uh, take this slicer and just imagine i am taking the slicer 
from this report so for the slicer i do not have an option called pin this visual because dashboard can be created from multiple reports then how can you slice them or how can you apply the filters to that dashboard so slicers and filters are not possible in dashboard you cannot set up a slicers and filters in the desktop uh, sorry in the dashboard so this is your dashboard so let me uh, come back to this so you can create a dashboard dashboard is nothing but which consists of a single page you can uh, bring multiple you can create a dashboard from multiple data sets or multiple reports so just now i have shown you from two reports we have created a dashboard but report when you are creating a report report are created only from single data set okay so i'm just showing you the difference okay and when it comes to dashboard you cannot cannot create dashboard dashboard in power bi desktop this is very very important because dashboard is created from multiple reports but there are only one report at a time in power bi desktop so we cannot create a dashboard in power bi desktop but here you can create and in dashboard you cannot use or cannot add slicers and filters whereas in report you can add obviously you can add uh, slices and filters in your report and when it comes to alerts so we will talk about alerts you can set up an alerts 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 in power bi dashboards okay dashboards you can set up an alerts but whereas in reports you cannot set up an alerts so now what is alerts and what is subscribe we are going to see that now subscribe okay what are subscribe and what is alerts we are going to see that now before that let me uh, like conclude about the dashboard again so you can pin the dashboard from multiple reports and multiple data sets and dashboard is made up of only a single single page and if you ask me like uh, why dashboard is actually used so suppose i'll give you one scenario suppose there is an organization and uh, sales team has created a sales report and marketing has create marketing people have created a marketing report technical people have created a technical report and advertisement people have creating the advertisement report and so on everything like all the teams have created a report but when you like when ceo like when the owner or ceo want to check the details so sales people have created i'm just giving you a simple example sales people have created maybe four pages report and marketing people have created four pages and technical people have created maybe five pages and advertisement people have created seven pages or something like that okay six seven pages now ceo doesn't have that much time to just go and look at all this maybe 10 15 pages he cannot you do not have much time there so what he'll do he want only one or two visuals that are so important for him for the management for the ceo for the stakeholders so what you can do there might be 30 40 visuals in this 30 visuals on this now the highlighted points may be only one or two visuals only one or two visuals in each and everything one or two visuals in this one or two visuals in this one or two in this one or two in this. so i can create all this one or two and put that in a dashboard dashboard and dashboard consists of now six to seven or seven six to eight visuals that's it so your dashboard is creating only six to eight visuals which has the details of the sales marketing technical all the details all the departments details are shown in this dashboard now ceo or the stakeholders only looks at the dashboard now he'll say that okay this is some of the units so this is the some of the profit and so on now if he want to see the details of this okay like he want to analyze hey, what is happening on this he'll just click on the visual you can just see the magic just click on the visual now 
it will go to that report page so from where you have pulled that visual i have pulled that visual from this service report and from this page hey i can do further analysis okay once you have analyzed you can go back and you can play with your dashboard again so i want to know hey from which visual or uh, what this uh, from where it is coming you can just click on that and it will go to the report demo report page and it is coming from this page and you can do further analysis on this so this is how a dashboard is used in a real time i hope you understood about the dashboard